The real benefit of their, our pilot for the Neighborhood Learning Center was the engagement that we had within our community uh, right from uh, moment one with the Neighborhood Learning Centers. Our whole community understood what an outstanding opportunity this was for our community. The possibility of bringing enhanced facilities within schools, I think that uh, we, really opened, uh, we really opened the door to a lot of creative thinking in our community. This is the real story about the engagement piece. Had we not done all the consultation about what would be effective to include in a neighborhood learning center, who would have really thought that a gymnastics center would be, uh, you know, a, a good choice? And and it's it's really fairly easy for us to do as part of this project because the gymnasium was going to be uh, high to start with. With it being so close to the new school, it it's just. Like, I could stay after school and do my homework and I don't need to go all the way home and then come all the way back. And we'll have a bigger club, which is nice to take to the competitions. You want to have a bit of a long-term vision as, as you're, like we're a non-profit organization, so you want to have, kind of sit, take the time to, to plan five years or ten years down the road. It's going to be used just for years to come in, in ways that we would never have imagined. We literally we're involved with every step of the design process. We wanted to make sure that it was it was family friendly. We want to make sure that uh, the Leap Land, the indoor playground, is open as much as possible, and that will be through community partnerships. And a real imperative for us was to support play and indoor activity uh, during winter months. As you can see, uh, sometimes Revelstoke is very inaccessible in terms of the amount of snow. So our new early learning center will host a gorgeous uh, facility that we call Leap Land, indoor play space, so that uh, toddlers in particular uh, can be active every single day of the year. Here we are. When this is done, kids will be riding trikes and running around and getting lots of energy on those really uh, desperately uh, snowy and cold and wet days in Revelstoke. The Neighborhood um, Learning Center is valuable because there's, there's that connection between the school and the, um, and the early learning teachers and, and we um, do a lot of collaboration. So we're very excited to be co-located with kindergartens to provide that kind of learning environment where parents have had the opportunity to come into the center, uh, perhaps have already uh, used one of our literacy services and then meet us again in the kindergarten space and then we'll be able to support them as well. So it's, it's a lot of excitement that everything's going to be in one place at one time. One big piece of advice is to spend the time up front getting to know each other, getting to know what's available, and getting to know uh, what's going to be best in terms of working together and what's going to be helpful for families in the community. It takes ongoing collaboration throughout the whole process, but it's all the time up front of getting the initial thoughts on what you're creating and why you're creating it and who you're creating it for. Get that right? It's just a construction job. We don't typically get a client that spends this much time and energy to making sure that everything is exactly the way they need it to get the best for everybody, to get the best for the community, neighborhoods of learning, the students, the staff. I mean, it's, it's just one of these once in a lifetime project is what this is. Our neighborhood learning center spaces have been uh, designed to benefit the school, but certainly uh, even greater benefit to, to the community. So when I think of uh, the four distinct neighborhood learning center spaces that we've ended up with in our community, so at the elementary school we have a dedicated gymnastics facility and just an outstanding uh, early learning uh, hub that's integrated with the functions of the school, such as our kindergarten classes and our Strong Start Center. And at the secondary school, uh, a, a wonderful small community theater and a uh, collection of uh, support spaces uh, to deliver uh, youth services for, uh, for youth that are getting some support from community agencies. So when I look at all four of those, in, in every case, they benefit the school to some degree, uh, and in every case, they benefit the community in a very large way.